well is all around, and darkness will find you on her own. And when she finally does, you'll be lying face down in cold, filthy mud, begging for life, your face barely recognizable, altered by fear and darkness itself. Only those who are strong enough to admit the need to change can survive. Creatures so unexpected, events so different from any war known to mankind. But I am alive, going down, deep down, watching every step just to see where the light is. Not looking out for enemies, they're already gone, as if they were never here. I am a man fighting for himself now, working to forge a reputation, to create a new definition of fear. To scare them all to death by offering living proof of what man can do when he is not afraid.
I've never seen you before, but I feel as if we are one. Uh, what's happening? The change. Power is gathering. The soul escapes. Move. <laughs> Something is changing inside me. Do I really have to follow them? What am I doing here? So am I. 
It could be worse.
January 1898, after a great dream. When I awoke, everything suddenly seemed much clearer. God does indeed have a plan for me. I must redeem these poor souls from the deep. My dream was about the sun. At some point in the past, the kobold people chose to disobey God's rules, and for their sins, he banished them down here. Now, they place the symbol of the sun on their walls to remind themselves of their past. It's all so very sad. Hell, it seems, is not full of fire, as old Roth told us. It's made up of caves, filled with sadness and anger. I will help them, of course. Make them understand. Anulf Ziegler, first and last savior of the kobold race. from the chains of humanity. Yes! Die and set me free! Go away and let my mind be pure! So purified, so untouched, my soul has departed. Nothing can stop me. Now they'll pay the price. I'll make them suffer. I'll rule them for eternity. Now, only one task remains. Where is this cursed golem?